So the 2021 MLR season for these two teams is underway. The it arrows really does, and they get set here for the lineup. Controlled by Toronto. It's the hooker with it now off and running. A good run up that far side by Jack McRogers. Well, just as they've been shot like an arrow, I suppose, right? They look pretty good to start here. Building a lot of phases here. And there is the try in goes Jack McRogers. Six phases. And this was great work by Adams, but an even better line by McRogers as he sizes up the mismatch and goes in right next to the post. Lots here from Scott Lawrence and his crew as they are pushing towards the try line right between the posts. Now, this is an area that just a couple of days ago, if you score the try in between the posts, it is seven points in the MLR now. They're forced outside here, and the push is on. And did they ground it on the try? That's going to be the question. And they say yes. What player as as Kura here with the conversion attempt and it's Back up in the line out that rolling ball was very hard to defend okay they decide to go the conventional route there is the rolling mall trying to push this thing in and they continue the push it spins it winds the body's tied up came out of there it's picked back up by the arrows they are close to the try line you have to ground it though and they blow the whistle and they say it's in they're able to spin it around here, and what they do is they actually catch a number of the ATL defenders on the short side, and that creates the mismatch. And this is great heads-up play from Tommy De La Vega. De La Vega last season led the team in carries. He's an inspiration. Put right boot into it. Make this a 14-7 game, and that's right down. Comes free, gets it. Here they come wide. Some speed right up the middle of the pitch on the run. Here they come. And good offload there. Ball knocked away. Back into the hands, though, safely. Uh, par free there. So an explosive. You think about it a little bit, didn't you? It's been a long time for you. Over uh, a year. Yeah, on the run. Nice handoff there. And a great tackle from behind by Les Matchup at 14 apiece. Taken out. Heavy shot there. McRogers trying to stop it. Can they? No! It's Catch their breath there, and the conversion is up and through. It and it's is. A, it's good to see fans back, and it, it's been oh, it's been over a year since. Front row, they <laughs> love the scrums, sure and do. so they're being robbed of another opportunity. Gals rolls it in. And another whistle. And the scenes look. So here is that penalty kick, and that one's, well, I'd call that a, a chip shot. Head. <laughs> Off the line out. Here comes the rolling mall again from Rugby ATL. They are close, but not in yet. Over the line. Did they get it down? There it is. See the ball laid back there. And Cordes. And the whistle. And did he get in? Not in the first move. Do it quickly. Get over the gain line. As a penalty advantage, slowing the ball down, not releasing the tackle player. Higgins got it out of there. Around the outside, they got some room up the sideline towards the try line and still on his feet inside of the five meter. A great chunk of real estate picked up there by Toronto. Now Toronto gets it out of there. They're inside of the five meter. So the arrow showing some life here. And their best push in a long time, as James mentioned. Referees playing advantage. Offside, so they have a free play here. They do. Do they get in? Trying to get this over the line and ground it? Offside. And there's the whistle to halt things, James. Still powering it on. Rubble's got his hands on the ball, though. This ball needs to come back, otherwise it's turned over. And they're trying to get it out. And it is turned over. He called it. Yep. That's the experience. But that is full time. You know, the Arrows haven't had an opportunity to have any preseason games. They looked a little bit undercooked, but right.